So <clears throat> we're just having a lunch uh, break now. And from this morning session on foundation of coaching. And one, one thing that, you know, capture my, my mind is, you know, before, you know, before I get to that, it, you know, when I was sitting there with all, all the students, uh, you know, it gave me that memory. I, I remember back when I was, um, when I was student, 2000, I think, you know, the last time I was student, 2007. Something that when I was like still a student, you know, that was kind of memory, nice memory of being a student. And uh, yeah, from this morning session, the one thing that captured my mind, I think by the end of this session, I will I'll be able to explain to you what is what is coaching. Before that, the one thing that captured my mind is that you know that, that when we embark on any learning, we all go through um, what is called learning journey. And in that learning journey, there is a beginning of the learning journey where we are unconsciously incompetent. It, what does it mean? Does it mean that we are not even aware that we are incompetent? If you don't know things, you don't know it. If you don't have information, you don't have information. I think that's, that's simple. And then from there, we move to another stage or another phase where we become consciously incompetent. We become aware that we don't know something. Right? And then from there, so that we move from that stage of being aware or not knowing or not having a skill to be in a phase where we became consciously competent. It means that we became aware that we know something. And then from there, we move to another phase where we became unconsciously competent. It means that we are we have the skill and then we became not aware of th that we have the skill. It's like it became embedding in, uh, in us. It became like a habit. It became something that is already in you. You do it without even thinking, basically. And you know, they take the example of, you know, driving, for example. Before you get to, because if you know that you're, oh, I'm going to be driving, you're excited, you're excited about the freedom, the liberty that you get, that you know you can you can drive from where to where you like, you know, you don't gonna share public transport, you have you you have your autonomy, you know, those kind of you're so excited. And at that moment, that excitement, even covering that at that moment you even don't know, then you don't drive. You're not you're not concerned about that. And then you know from there. Then when you come to a point where you want to drive, you sit on the wheel, that's why you became aware that, oh, actually, I don't know how to drive that thing. I don't know how to make it move, right? And then you start taking your lesson day by day, and then you become consciously that, oh, actually, I can drive that thing. And then till, you know, you get your driver's license and then you drive for years and then after that you you became you, you became you forget basically you, be, you become unconscious in your mind that you are competent you come in the car you sit bam it goes without you thinking basically that's what he said without you thinking you do the thing because it's already embedded in you I think that's analogy where that's you know learning journey where I find it so fascinating because we all go through a learning journey where most you know most of the time where in the beginning we are not very aware that we know it and when we become aware that we don't know most of us stop there we block everything. Oh, no, that's not for me. It's too difficult. It's too this or too that. And then we don't even move to the next stage. We don't try. Well, it is a cycle. You start from unconscious incompetent till you become unconscious competent. I find it this really eye-opening, you, know, you know, part of this morning. So we're going to go back, um, yeah, in 20 minutes. And then 2 o'clock, we're going to go for the second, um, you know, part of part of that and I'm gonna come out when I have a break 
And I'm going to tell you a little bit more. I think at that moment, I will, I will be able to explain to you for today, day one, what is coaching is. So, thank you. I'm going to have my lunch now. And then see you in a couple of hours. <laughs>